Mike, thank you very much for that report. Getting in the sun while they can. Now, Dr. Nash here to break down the five specific threats that we think we'll see with none. can go ahead. And the one that concerns me the most is the heavy rainfall and inland flooding. It's not just because it's going to be approaching the northern Gulf Coast. It's going to slow down as it gets to the northern Gulf Coast. And it's not just going to be a coastal issue. And what if it makes Coming landfall, Mike, and then weakens, but like Alberto, two uh, 1994, so, causes a flooding disaster and after it had made right landfall? Right now, the most likely place to come in is going to be maybe somewhere in Mississippi, Alabama, over Louisiana. Yep. But, but I mean, the rainfall the hazard is it, it all the way from Florida and Louisiana up there. into North Carolina, not just coastal, but inland as well, because of the sprawling nature of the system. Bad weather far from the center. And, of course, slow moving is bad news because that just... Just prolongs the rain Alex. event and increases the totals. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen a boatload of rain her. across some of these areas, and Ready, we could be looking at full. three to five plus inches yes, across parts of the southeast. We'll be at this point. Looks to be Alex one Alex of the, the uh, hot spots out, as well as in. western parts of the Florida panhandle. But notice you get Ready, into 13, inland parts of Georgia and South Carolina, and that's where we could see some really heavy rainfall rates as well. Here's your Florida forecast. Tampa all the way down through Miami, so West Palm Beach, Naples also included three to five Inches with isolated Dissolve higher C. totals definitely Ready, possible. And many locations in Florida have picked up more than a foot of rain in just the last 10 days. Just Flood like roads, a neighborhoods could become a major problem. Get Fort Lauderdale, for example, running more than eight inches above average for rainfall back out to just during the month of May. And guys, we're going to add more rain into the picture. Yes, we are. Now, another thing that we're going to watch for storm surge and waves. Dr. Nab, not Typical threats that we often so think about with an industry of tropical forecast. storms. Although the Gulf of Mexico Rip and tropical storms have a history of combining we'll, to we'll, create we'll, storms. We'll, we'll, we'll Debbie 2012 was a again. weak sprawling tropical storm that caused storm surge in Tampa and points north. So if you've got the low yeah, there's like over a the central and eastern Gulf, CJ. the onshore flow yeah, is going to cause some there's, potential for some storm know, surge. A lot. The northeastern it's Gulf and the Florida Big Bend, even down into the Tampa so Bay area, any onshore Kendall. flow can cause storm surge in this Stay very there. shallow okay. part okay. of the Gulf. And it's an enclosed basin. So, so the southerly flow we've been seeing for a while has already got the water levels Rep, a bit Alex, above average. Stand by to reveal Alex. Tides could be an issue. Choppy waves out there too. Stand by to go yeah, get her. it's going to be you know, tough for people who aren't necessarily experienced swimmers. You know, Ready, the, the ocean full. can beat you up a little bit, and that's something we're Dissolve. concerned about. So guys, rip really down and watch the kids, in. even yourself. Bill, can you be if you're a not a super confident swimmer, this is not a time to be getting out there. We're really going to see the wave heights increase as we get into the second half of the weekend. So very similar with the rain forecast. It will be during the day Sunday, where I think you're going to notice that appreciable change along the coastline. We get you into Tuesday. Still could be dealing with elevated waves. Things relaxing a bit though by the time we get into later Prep. in the day but it's going to be a Ready prolonged 12. period of time Ready guys 12. where we could be looking at some significant wave, get Mike wave heights as well you know the other thing we go saw in mike Seidel's live shot there folks are enjoying yeah. the beach and while they can they want to take advantage of it. it's the holiday so rip currents are a concern for you yes the risk is moderate now but as this system gets going in the gulf of mexico i think that risk will increase because you look for the maximized rip current risk wherever you have onshore flow parallel to the coastline so a low over the central even Eventually eastern we'll gulf be sends Alex that again onshore flow <laughs> painted right at the away. florida panhandle coastline and you could have some you know residual uh, effects here but also mike there'll be southerly flow way to the east of the system on the atlantic side flowing into the Georgia and Carolina coastlines as well. I wouldn't rule out rip current risk there, too. Give me some specific beaches you should be worried about. Show Alex. Myrtle Beach, Fort Walton Beach, Clearwater Beach, and a lot of places in between. It's going to be a, a tough yeah. time for folks that are taking a vacation there. They want to enjoy these Alex. beautiful white sand beaches. Already today, where Mike Seidel is, we've got moderate risks full. of rip current. And as Dr. Nab just said, that's going to go up as we Dissolve. go forward in time. And it's going to be displaced from maybe the part of the action as far as the rainfall is concerned. Dr. Nab just mentioning Myrtle Beach could see things get more elevated as we head forward in time. And earlier, the Weather Channel spoke with Wyatt Worth with the National or the American Lifeguard Association about the warning signs that you need to look for when you're at the beach. Roll D take. When you this come down to 18, a beach camera 12, and you have a lifeguard, the lifeguard will have a, a series of flags, warning system, 
A green flag is shot. good, a it. yellow flag use caution, and the red flag or double red is a beach close. Up, so the one way for Seven sure is swim your lifeguard and find out, and other than Five that, seconds. just look at the currents and keep an eye on your I'll children. On your children. Effect That's 12. right for sure. Just talk to those lifeguards. They know what's going on. Dr. Nab, number four on your list, wind and power right. outages. We're going to go back to the This is a really uncertain one, one because we so don't even have a depression or storm yet. It's really hard to make an intensity forecast. But let's say it becomes a mid-grade to strong tropical storm and that is within the realm of possibility given the latest models take 12 that means that closer to the center of circulation and to the north and east especially in coastal regions it wouldn't be just along the coast but we could see some wind impacts in this general area again depending upon how strong it gets how large it gets and even in tropical storms you can have some dangers you can have some down power lines cause power okay. outages. Mm -hmm. you can down some trees Mobile homes might not be a safe place to stay, so don't discount Stand the wind hazard. Reveal we, we look at the models. Alex. What are they telling us? Well, we get you Stand into get uh, late get weekend, and that's where I think we're going to notice those changes. Uh, we're going to put this into motion as you go through the day. We're running. Things staying relatively quiet. So you're two, uh, three shot on uh, the so floor. So we might get a bit breezy, but it's going to be Dissolve Sunday 13. as this system, whatever exactly it is, gets closer. At this point, models focusing on the possibility that we could be looking at gusts 40 to 50 plus miles per hour, very close to the center of this, and that could be located right along the Gulf Coast of uh, Western Florida and sections of Alabama, as well as a bit of Mississippi. So uh, according to the GFS model, a little lower in the way of winds as we get into the late evening hours. Dr. Corso, we'll only have time to talk It does not take super strong gusts, especially when you got a saturated ground to take down trees. And if all these different elements didn't have us concerned, go get them. Tornadoes, just one more right. hazard. Now, now, any tropical this, storm we're gonna go to Dr. can spawn relatively weaker tornadoes than what you'd see in the Great Plains, and typically that's 11. to the north and they east of take the 11. circulation center. With the lower of the Gulf, 12. that puts I'm the just southeastern United States eight. in that northeastern quadrant. So generally speaking, you just, uh, your, your this area, good, uh, but that you. will have to be pinpointed as the system gets a little better organized, Toss and we have no idea the track, but those eight. bands that spawn tornadoes Stand can be far away from the circulation center. Dr. Forbes will be able to give us a better idea. Yeah, Dr. Forbes in the lab. Dr. Forbes, your thoughts. Effect 8. Well, indeed, I think uh, come Sunday evening and beyond.